Hello and welcome to another video. In this video I'll go to show you how you can make a script that shows if your player is grounded or if he's able to just keep jumping. So right now, uh, after I just created some player movement, the player will just be able to jump and keep jumping. So we have to tell if he's actually grounded and we're going to do this by creating a box cast beneath our player. So first of all we need a private field call it the box collider and say yeah just call it call we're also going to need uh, a serialized field a layer mask and let's call it jump up the ground yeah so in our start let's say collision you love the call the box collider call and get component because we have to get this initiated in our start. So good. I think that's pretty much what we need for the fields and in the start. So let's just get going with the script for the is grounded. Uh, let's make it a private bool that says is grounded. So in here, we're going to create our box cast uh, and also, yeah, that's just what we're going to do. We have to return something because it's a Boolean. So let's say physics 2D, I cannot spell that, physics 2D dot box cast. And then we need to pass in these parameters. So first of all, it's the, where it's going to be placed, the origin, it's in the center. And then we're going to say the bound for the size. It's just going to be the size of the player. Then 0f, uh, vector 2, the down because it's going downwards. And the last parameter is going to be our serialized field because that's the ground that's actually going to be able to... I mean, it's the ground that the player will be able to jump off. Let's save this. Uh, now we need to pass in here that if the player is pressing this button or this button and he is grounded, he will be able to jump. Yeah, that's fine. So now you see our player has this jumpable field that says what ground is actually jumpable. So let's go to our ground. You see I already created a layer for this, but let's just create a new one. This is going to be blank. Just call it ground or jumpable ground or platform or whatever you want. Now go to the ground. Make sure the ground is a platform layer and then go back to the player. Click here. And select the jumble ground is the platform. Now it's actually working. I think uh, this is the best way to do this uh, if you want to make it really simple and also make sure that it works every, th every time. Um, yeah, so thank you very much. Uh, as I mentioned, I think I mentioned at least if you want the movement script, you can just uh, go to my previous video. Uh, and copy the code or just uh, follow along the tutorial. Uh, also, I'm going to make some videos about continuous flow and stuff like that. So keep an eye out for my videos, subscribe to the channel and like this video if it helped you out. Also comment if there's any video you'd like to see. Uh, thank you very much for watching.